So today for dim sum, I am going to be doing some rice noodle wraps for you guys. And um, this was a recipe where at the beginning I thought because it was so easy to buy and it was such a hassle, sort of, uh, to make that I just opted for store-bought all the time when I was filling, you know, my tasu ones. Uh, but I think that a lot of people do want to learn how to make it and at the same time I realized that not everybody has these uh, noodle rolls so readily available. So I would say that the hardest thing for me was to find a small enough pan that would fit into, you know, basically like a store pot because what you need to do is you have to steam it on a sheet. So the thing is just finding a sheet pan that was small enough to fit into my pot and um, I've actually found this one and it actually is perforated as well which is perfect for steaming so um, I'm gonna put that link down below so that um, if you guys wanted to get it as well I think the dimensions are maybe like six by eight so it's actually a pretty small pan but it is perfect for this job afterwards we can fill it up with all different goodies and that is going to be uh, in a future video so um, I can't wait to show you guys this recipe um, and I'm sure that a lot of you guys are gonna be happy to see it Okay, so this recipe makes a ton of noodle rolls. So I've kind of reduced that recipe down for you guys to about 15 to 20 noodle rolls. So to start off with, you need one and one third of a cup of rice flour. Now guys, be careful that you're not using glutinous rice flour and that you're using rice flour. Um, and then two and a half tablespoons of potato starch, uh, followed by two and a half tablespoons of wheat starch. And that just kind of like adjusts the texture of the noodle rolls. Finally, we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt and then about two cups of water all go in. Now, the nice thing about starch-based flours is if you are using kind of cool water, this whole thing should mix together really well, no lumps or anything. So I'm just gonna let this guy rest for about 10 minutes or so. I usually like to let the starches kind of finish absorbing before I work with the batter. So now let's get the equipment part of the portion squared away. So I have one of those polyester table napkins. I think it's basically the same ones that you see at Chinese restaurants. And I'll put a link down below um, if you guys can't find it either, but I am going to wet it. And this is what you're going to cook the thin rice noodles on. So you can see that I have a pot of boiling water going and you can actually turn down the heat a little bit while you do this setup. It doesn't need to be that, that hot. You can see that I have the steamer kind of attachment and then my pan up top. And you do want this, um, the pan to be pretty close to the water because you do need to cook that rice batter. Um, so, so now here's kind of the more complicated part. I'm trying to stick this napkin on top and it was really hard just because my pot wasn't big enough but um, later on I actually found out that if you wrap this around the pan first and then put it into the water it gets to be a lot easier all right so a good tip about the batter is that a lot of that rice flour sinks all the way to the bottom so make sure that you give it a good whisk uh, before you put this in and I would say that this is about oh like a half a cup or so of liquid going between a half a cup to one cup and you do want to just spread it around you want this noodle roll to be thin so that when it cooks up it's going to be easier to wrap and you can also see all of the ingredients inside so this goes on I'd say like medium high heat a pretty good boil uh, for about five minutes. So during that five minutes, I am just painting a board with some water. You don't need to use oil at all, and this will keep the rice noodle rolls from sticking. So trust me, this is super, super important. And guys, be careful about this part because this can be really, really hot as well. And what you guys don't see is I am slapping it onto the board, rice side down. So this has the potential of becoming a pretty sticky mess. Uh, but what you actually need is one of these bench scrapers. It is going to be a very big help. You, I would say you absolutely need one of these. So what you start off with is um, it's just the edge that is hard to get off. So use that scraper and kind of scrape that edge off. And then once that comes Comes off it the rest comes off pretty easily 
I know what you guys are thinking. It's uh, a lot of work for something with such small results, but you know, then again, you can always buy it at the store. And if you don't have it, this is actually one of your options. So um, I've actually cut up some carrots and some uh, scallions as well. And the carrots mimic, uh, sometimes they'll use dried shrimp in the original version. So I just thought that the colors mimicked that the same way. So uh, make sure that you are painting that pastry cutter, the, the bench scraper with water before you kind of roll this because the, the rice noodles, they are very sticky and they also dry up very quickly. So I would recommend that maybe if you weren't eating it in, you know, like the next few hours or so, make sure to just paint it with a little bit of water first so that it doesn't dry. Um, some people or some restaurants will actually take a little bit of oil as well and then you can just paint the top so that it gets nice and shiny and then it also doesn't dry out either. All right, so ready to try out number two. Uh, same process, I'm just going to uh, put the cloth in and then only this time I wanted to put some of the toppings in while the rice noodle rolls were cooking. And really, there you go. These guys turned out so nice. Um, just remember, yeah, brush it with a little bit of water or a little bit of oil just to get that nice shine. And then I topped it off with a little bit more scallions just for decoration. Of course, we're gonna top it off with that sweetened dim sum soy sauce for a nice balanced flavor. And I will put that recipe down below for you guys. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. There's gonna be a lot more to come where I add in the filling, so stay tuned. As usual, if you wanna see more recipes like this, remember to hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye.